What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and in today's video I want to talk about an attacking method that can make any base surrender to your will. And I'm telling you it's an old attack, but it's a new attack. It's a it's a, a basically a new um, a new way to do an old attack. And basically this attack is simply a gohobo with four golems. Um, now in this particular attack uh, hyperactive changes up the spell comp a little bit. Most of the time this attack is run with four jumps. But uh, hyperactive is rolling with a rage and two jumps. And and I think it's because this base, he's going to be able to get to uh, most of this base without needing all the jump, all the jumps, you know, in the other compartments. So this base is not quite as compartmentalized as some of the other bases that I've seen this attack run on. So let's take a look at this attack by hyperactive. And you just watch it unfold and we're going to break this attack down a little bit later in the video because I want you to just see how simple it is uh, when you're running it with four jumps. Uh, and it does, like I said, it does depend on the, it's base dependent on your spell composition. So right here, uh, Hyperactive is coming in from the bottom. He, he's uh, starting with one golem there, just kind of letting him tank a minute. And uh, that way that his other golem doesn't get beat up. Here goes the, the third golem. And he'll drop that fourth one out here in a second. And he's just making a really clean funnel right now. And that's what he needs to, to uh, get everything funneled into the core of the space. Now in this one, <clears throat> when I've seen this attack run uh, in other, other, uh, other attacks, the kill squad sometimes is separated uh, into two components. But in this particular base, this base allows Hyperactive to funnel his whole kill squad in together, which makes it even more deadly. And right here, his king, unfortunately, has blown the funnel, but maybe that's not unfortunate. We'll see. But right now, he's um, he's got his jumps down, and I think he's going to rage these guys when they get towards the core. And there it goes. That's just going to help move things along. And here comes his hogs, and he has actually saved a heal for them. I think uh, he's going to try to keep them alive as they go through, but he's... he's uh, I thought maybe he was going to try to keep him alive towards that expo, but apparently um, the kill squad was about to die, so he elected to uh, to take out the kill squad, or to heal up the kill squad here. So as you can see, his hogs are almost down, really. It's, it's, uh, they, they, they run into a big bomb coming in, which is unfortunate, but there's plenty of troops left over in the kill squad, and that's what I mean about this attack. It is, it is just so devastating. It doesn't seem to matter which base style uh, it, it goes up against, it just seems to just face roll the base. And that's why I'm bringing this guy, this attack to you guys. I want you to see it. Let's, uh, let's see if we can roll this thing and get some six packs. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the next attack. He's got 11 wizards in, in this army comp. He's, he's planning on having a lot of, uh, wizards in the court. You know, when I first seen it, the immediate thought was avalanche. I was thinking he's going to run it like an avalanche. <clears throat> but it, it's not really how it's, how it runs. And so now he's he's doing the same thing on the opposite side. But he put the heroes on one side and he put bowlers on the other. So the bowlers are the hero substitutes on one side. And he still he, he put his king over with the bowlers to help out. Jump spells going in. Oh, that's great. The bowlers didn't uh, didn't get hit by the bomb, but they didn't take the jump. So the enemy CC is getting taken care of by the queen right now, which is great. Unfortunately, those golems are roasted right now. They are completely roasted. And all this time that those bowlers wasted kind of hurt the attack a little bit. But everything's getting back on course right now. And everything is attracted by the uh, golems, and the golems are tanking. Queen's gonna have to use her ability right here. He went ahead and phased her. There's the queen. Probably gonna use the king's ability here in a second. Here comes his hogs, and he just sprinkled him in a little bit at a time because they're all targeting the uh, kill squad. Nothing's really looking at him. And guys, just look at how beautiful that was. Although ugly a little bit, 
in the end the end result was beautiful and there's tons and tons of cleanup troops excellent thought process here trick it really like seeing this all right guys we're going to take a look at this hit by rousey and kind of explain it a little bit uh, it's really simple it's not complicated at all in the least so let's get going with it this could be your new op attack strategy right here guys so there's uh, golems right there they're going in towards the mortar and here's some golems here going in towards this uh, wizard tower uh, and then rousey is going to throw some wizards out funnel wizards uh, and their only job is to cut this funnel that's all they're doing and, and they got a very important job here so once that happens um rousey is going to well i think she's going to drop she's going to drop her jump uh, right in here she's going to drop a jump right in here and then here comes uh, her bk come in here um then we'll just use this and cc bowlers and then <clears throat> my favorite pink for the Archer Queen. Archer Queen is going to come out. And basically, you know, all she's doing here is setting this funnel, getting these uh, key component troops in, in line, funneling them into the base. And, and now we got to keep our eyes on this CC pool. And you got poisons for that. So you just, you, you're going to have to deal with that that way. But basically, you're only having to funnel your your um, kill squad into this base and after that your only job is to you know watch your hero's abilities and to uh, drop the other jumps and so what's what's going to happen here uh, Rousey's going to throw another jump around in here and another jump around in here oh that's a little big so anyway <clears throat> And once, uh, once all that happens, uh, we'll just do this here. Uh, the, everything's going to kind of funnel in here and, and just start destroying all this uh, stuff. The CC, and I'm, I'm just going to use the golems right now. They're just going to kind of go like this, and this is going to get destroyed. And these guys are going to come in, and your queen is going to just start destroying everything. And they're all going to meet up in here and push through. And all this is going to get eliminated. And it's, it's really cool. And eventually it will eliminate pretty much all of the base. But that that is the key component of this raid. Now, you've got a few hogs. And those hogs, uh, Rousey plans to start trickling hogs over here. And uh, and just I think she's got uh, 11 or 15. You guys can... We, we can check that on the replay. I'm, I'm trying to remember. But... But basically, I think she goes like five and five here or something like that. And I think there's a few more here. And their job is just to eliminate all of this to help the kill squad as it's coming into this area right here. And they all converge here and destroy the base. And that is how this attack will play out. And this, I'm just telling you guys, this one is really simple. It's a simple attack. And the only key components is is that your golems are always tanking and that hopefully uh, your queen or your royal or your both your royals don't get targeted um, hopefully just the golems are taking the punishment and the whole time they're behind the golems tanking and they're taking out the base so with that being said let's get to the attack all right guys and here's that beautiful attack by rousey and as you can see it starts just as i said uh, the golems are dropped uh, on the sides there just to kind of create a funnel here comes these wizards and their only job basically is to uh, just create this funnel and she's gonna start dropping those heroes and bowlers now and just look at those beautiful jumps that is set it up right there everything's funneling in now the queen if you pay attention the queen does get into a little trouble here and the king is going to start beating on her a little bit because she's shooting him. Look at there, he's coming in. And he's going to beat on her. And she is very patient here. I give Rousey credit. I probably would have popped her ability. But now the BK has wandered over there because he was going to help out. 
and the bowlers are pretty much just staying over there uh, on the other side of the funnel. Here comes the poison to uh, meet the CC, <clears throat> and it is almost down. There's a baby drag still up. And here comes a few hogs just to help out. Rousey threw these in just to get that mortar so the splash wouldn't continue hitting her core shot. And she's going to drop in on the other side those hogs on the wizard tower and the cannon <clears throat> and the uh, air defense. And look at how everything's working in. Now there's a bomb here and they, they're going to hit that bomb. And they're going to be pretty weak so the bow is going to take out uh, one pack of hogs. But these hogs are green enough to finish this bow off. And as you can see, there's just overwhelming troops left on the board, and this base is completely devastated. This is an awesome attack done by Rousey. Excellent job. And guys, that's what I'm talking about. This attack, <clears throat> I've seen it a few times. It's a rare attack too, but every time I see it, it is completely devastating to the base. It doesn't seem to matter uh, what type of base it is, um, as long as you can get those jumps lined up and get through about 75% of the base with the kill squad before you start your hogs. You start your hogs because there's no, there's, you have no heals for the back end hogs. You've got to have everything targeting the kill squad and those hogs just kind of come in and help the kill squad out to finish off the base. But but this this attack right here, I honestly think is is probably one of the better attacks for any base style. It's, it's easy. You, you only have to concentrate on your jump positions getting uh, you, well, you got to concentrate on your funnel, but you only got the other thing is just concentrate on getting those jumps right, uh, and you've got plenty of time. The attack moves very slowly, so I think the learning curve on this attack is really simple. It, it's not a very complex attack, but it is a very devastating attack. And guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I am out of here.